girls? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. Today we're doing episode 31 of our series, Hashtag Dear Diary. Go ahead and grab your phone, pull up the YouVersion Bible app, it's a free download, or grab your hard copy Bible, pause the video here while you take some time on your own to read Psalm 31, and when we come back, we're going to talk about what God was showing us as we read. Alright, now that you've finished reading Psalm 31 on your own, I wanted to read the verse that stood out the most to me when I was reading. Verse 23. Love the Lord, all you godly ones, for the Lord protects those who are loyal to Him. This is one of those entries in David's hashtag your diary that is a psalm or a song. In the beginning of this Psalm 31, it says that it's written by the choir director, which basically implies to me that it's to be sung. So when David writes, love the Lord, all you godly ones, for the Lord protects those who are loyal to Him, picture him singing this as a song. Now, picture yourself at church singing worship songs to God. That's what this psalm or song is about. One of my favorite worship songs of all time is a very old-fashioned hymn, and it's called Take My Life and Let It Be. And it's kind of like Psalm 31. It's encouraging us to give our lives to God and to live our lives for God. It's just like this verse here in Psalm 31. I want to read some of these lyrics from one of my favorite hymns to you guys and just let them soak in. Take my life and let it be, consecrated Lord to thee. Take my moments and my days and let them flow in endless praise. Take my hands and let them move at the impulse of thy love. Take my feet and let them be swift and beautiful, Lord, for thee. Take my voice and let me sing, always only for my King. Take my lips and let them be filled with messages from thee. Take my silver and my gold, not a mite will I withhold. Take my intellect and use every power as thou shalt choose. Take my will and make it thine. It shall no longer be mine. Take my heart, it is thine own. It shall be thy royal throne. Take my love, my Lord, I pour at thy feet its treasure store. Take my life and I will be ever only all for thee. I find myself singing this hymn in my car, in my bedroom, in the shower. I almost feel emotional when I think about this song because this is the cry of my heart. And I think that's what worship songs do. They move in your heart and they point your heart towards God. Those words that say, Lord, take everything of who I am. Take my intellect, take my mouth, my words, take my silver and my gold. Use my life, Lord. Take every bit of who I am and use it for your glory and for what you want to do through my life. That's what David is saying. He's saying, love the Lord, all you godly ones, for the Lord protects those who are loyal to him. And then I want to skip back up to verse 19 and it says this, this is the reward when your heart is towards God and when you're living your life for him and giving your life to him, there's a reward for it. And it's talked about here in verse 19 and I want to read this part to you. It says, how great is the goodness you have stored up for those who fear you. You lavish it on those who come to you for protection blessing them before the watching world. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome and you rock and I will see you then. Okay, bye.